Hi! In this video, we'll introduce Ultra Carol. So we've been using Super Carol in all of our programs, and again, love Super Carol, great dog. Super Carol knows a lot of really cool tricks, but uh, I'm really excited. Here we go. Super Carol is finally evolving. This is huge. What could Super Carol possibly evolve into? You guessed it, Super Carol evolved into Ultra Carol. And this is huge, this is great, because Ultra Carol knows some really cool tricks. So, introducing Ultra Carol. Ultra Carol has the ability to paint the grid world. So, let's take a look at the Ultra Carol API. Ultra Carol knows all the standard Super Carol commands. Move, put ball, take ball, turn left, turn right, turn around. But, Ultra Carol knows one really special move. Ultra Carol knows a new command called paint. Now notice there is a color inside the parentheses of paint. And what is that? We haven't seen that before. We can put things inside the parentheses. So this is known as a parameter. So introducing parameters. Parameters are inputs into functions. We can pass a parameter to a function to make it do specific things. So if you think about it, functions have output. If we call paint, this will have an output on the world. It will have an effect on the world. Carol will paint the world a certain way. Now the parameters are inputs into the function. So if we pass a parameter, color.red, as an input to paint, then the resulting paint will be red. If we pass as input color.blue, then the resulting paint will be blue. All functions have outputs, whether it's move or turn left or paint, but certain parameters take inputs. So how can we use parameters? All we have to do is call the function we call paint, and inside the parentheses, we pass in the parameter that we want. The parameter goes inside the parentheses, but we have to make sure that we still close the parentheses. Notice that move doesn't need any parameters. Move is a function that takes no parameters, whereas paint needs one parameter. You need to give a color to paint so that it knows what to do. So that's how we pass colors in as parameters. But what colors can we use? Here's a list of all the colors that we can use with Ultra Carol. It's important that you say color dot before the name of the color. So we can say color dot red, color dot blue, all the way to color dot purple. And these are constant colors. There's actually one special color, color dot random, and this will produce a random color. We don't know what it's going to be. The others, you're guaranteed it's going to be that color. Color dot random will just produce a random color on the grid. But you need to remember the parentheses on random. Random is the only one that needs parentheses. So that is how we use paint. What about conditions? Well, Ultra Carol knows all the standard Carol conditions. Ultra Carol knows front is clear, front is blocked, left is clear, left is blocked, facing east, facing west, etc. But there's actually one more condition that Carol knows. Carol knows a new condition, and that condition is color is, and this one also takes a parameter. So using this condition, we can actually ask a question saying, what color are we standing on? We can say color is red, color yes or no, color is blue, yes or no. And doing this, we can actually have Ultra Carol do things depending on what color Ultra Carol is standing on. So here's a classic Carol condition example. If front is clear, move. So with this code, Carol will only move if the front is clear. Here we see an example of using the color is condition. If color is color.red, then move. So in this case, Carol will only move if the current square is red. If Carol is standing on red, then Carol will move. So that is Ultra Carol. Let's see some examples of Ultra Carol in action. So here we are in the code editor and see that we actually have a new section in the blocks. We have this paint section. So if we click on this, we can see the Ultra Carol command paint, and these are all the colors that we can use. If we go over to conditions, there's a new condition color is. So these are the new Ultra Carol blocks. So we want to write a program that lays a red frame around the edge of the world, makes like a red border. So to do that, all we have to do is have Carol run around the sides and lay down red as Carol goes. So really what we want to do is repeat the following four times. I'm going to write this out in pseudocode. So we want to repeat four times. We want Carol to move to a wall. We want to say while the front is clear. paint red, and move. <clears throat> and then once the front isn't clear, we'll be all the way at the edge, and we have to paint red on that last spot, so paint red there. 
and then turn left to get ready for the next round. So this is our pseudocode. Let's put this into actual code. We can delete this, we can go back to blocks. So really we wanna do the following. Let's make a function called lay red frame. And this function will take care of all the work for us. So all start needs to do is call lay red frame. Let's call it paint, paint red frame. And what does paint red frame do? This function has Carol move around the edge edges of the world and paint a red frame around the world. Precondition, Carol is in the bottom left corner facing east. Post condition, Carol is in the same position and the edge of the world, edges of the world are now all painted red. So let's write this function. So what we wanna do is do the following four times. So I was gonna go from zero to four we're going to, really what we're gonna to wanna to do is paint a single red row. So paint red row. What will paint red row do? This function will have Carol move to a wall while painting red. Precondition. So what's our precondition? Well. Carol can be facing any direction, and Carol's right is blocked, meaning Carol is standing on one of the edges. So here, if Carol's facing north, the right is blocked by this wall. If Carol's facing west, the right's blocked by this wall. If Carol's facing east, the right is blocked by this wall. So post condition, Carol has moved all the way to the next wall and has painted a red trail. So let's write this function. So to paint red frame, we wanna do the following four times. We wanna paint a red row, and then we want to turn left and get ready for the next row. So to paint a red row, all we need to do is while the front is clear, need to move and paint. So move and paint, what color? Color.red, so let's move that out. And then, let's see what happens here. Awesome. So that is how we can use Ultra Carol to paint a red frame. Let's see another example. So in this program, we wanna teach Ultra Carol to go down the slip and slide. Carol should go slip all the way down and not stop until Carol is off the slip and slide. So really all we need to do is while Carol is standing on blue, keep moving. So let's go to control flow, while, and here we're gonna use the color is condition. While the current color is blue, is color.blue, all we have to do is move. So let's try it. Awesome, Carol did the slip and slide. Let's try world two. Great. So that is Ultra Carol. Ultra Carol has the ability to paint the world and we can make a lot of cool programs with this. We can paint a lot of cool images in the grid world. And now it's your turn to try writing some Ultra Carol programs.